All right, you can't have a Mardi Gras show without our first guest. Please welcome back the Grammy and Emmy Award winning Harry Connick Jr. You um, look great. Thank you very much. You look yeah. great too. But before we start, are you a huge, like, over-the-top Jennifer Aniston fan? Uh, I, she was my first guest, and I we're friends, and the, I, I like her. The reason I ask is because when you walk to the dressing room down the hallway, Ellen's got these fantastic pictures of all the people that have been on the show, or yeah. at least the ones that you like the best. You probably know <laughs> where I'm going. And uh, I just I saw you know I saw two of uh, Jennifer Aniston. I didn't see any of me, so. <laughs> Well, no, not in the big pictures in the hallway. There's no pictures of you. Yeah, that's what I mean. No, I know, but I mean, don't you think it's more I'm special? I'm just saying, yeah, I've done Don't you think it's more special what I carry around? <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> Clearly, it's quite accessible. <laughs> I am pressing the button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what? What? Look at that. Oh, how about Look, that? Yes, Look I, at I, that. I carry this, this in my pocket all the time. <laughs> That's very nice. I, I also have to go through a very complicated <laughs> unlocking and opening procedure for the shrine I've built of you in my home. <laughs> You know, it, I just need to get it oiled. I open yeah. it and close it so many times yeah. that it probably yeah. has broken. The because, mechanism is broken. Yes, because yeah. I open it constantly, yeah. from, you know, to, to look at <laughs> Not you. Not only to see what time it is, but to look at me as well. Oh, the, the clock doesn't even work. It's just for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good comedy right Thank there. Thank you Ellen. very much. That's, That's quick thinking, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Um, all right, so, hey, talk <laughs> about uh, Mardi Gras for you, because, uh, like I said, I remember getting there early and hoping to get the right spot and getting oh, up on that ladder. What are your memories of, of Mardi Gras? Well, my memories include going to a place called Gallier Hall. Now, my dad was the DA of New Orleans for, like, 30 years, and... My mother was a judge down there, so we used to go to Gallier Hall, which is where a lot of the politicians would stay and watch the parades. And I just remember going underneath the stands, um, and there was a much uh, better view, um, <laughs> you know, as an eight or 10-year-old boy or a 39-year-old man, as it were. Horrible. Yeah. That is sick. Especially, yeah. <laughs> We stayed on there all day. Really? Man. All day. And we, my, my parents would say, where have you been? I'd say, well, you know, I'm down here because a lot of people miss the doubloons and the bees and they slip through the stands, but it had absolutely nothing to, to do, do with, with the that. doubloons or bees? Nothing at all. That's hard. And, and the, the parents couldn't figure that out? That, that wasn't probably, really? Probably so, but they were preoccupied with, yeah. you know, doing their thing up, up top. I hope you keep better tabs on your children than, uh, <laughs> than that, to wander around. It's so, like, crazy to be on the street loose like that. It is. It, it's nuts. <laughs> it's so funny, though, man. Like, my, my oldest one, who is 10, <laughs> she, she likes to ice skate. And it's fascinating to me, because, you know, growing up in New Orleans, we don't even have ice in the drinks down there, right. much less in, <laughs> yeah. in a rink. It's so hot. So she really, I think she's found her passion at least for you know the next two weeks. Uh -huh. And she really <laughs> likes to do this ice skating thing. So, uh, so she had a competition, her first competition. Now I've seen her on the ice. I mean, I, I drop her off at the rink all the time and I sit there and watch her and she's doing all of these, what do you call it, shoot the duck and all, these, all of these crazy <laughs> things I've never even heard of. And she does these tricks. So now the competition comes and all she had to do was skate around the rink and maybe turn around once and then I'm, and that was it. And, and uh, I got very frustrated uh, because I've seen her do much more than the requirements for the competition. So I started yelling, but she does tricks. She does tricks. She can do tricks. <laughs> and uh, it didn't go over so, so big, you know. <laughs> You're yelling out to change the whole course of the... the... Well, I'd say, I'm thinking it's a competition. She should, you know, go out there and do everything right. she knows how to do. Right. But I suppose you can't really do that. Like when I used to play classical piano competitions, it's not like, oh wait, I got one more number I want to play. Yeah, play. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Launch into some, some boogie woogie. Are you? Are you? Do your other? Uh, does your other daughter play anything? She's into basketball. Uh -huh. She's really into basketball, and it, it's it's fine except uh, one one time. You have to understand, my middle one is nine, and and these basketball games, there's maybe 15 parents there, and I try to get the wave going, and. Uh, <laughs> 
and uh, I, re I really did. I'm not making this up. And half of the half of the parents are rooting for the other team. So that mm -hmm. leaves about six, maybe seven people <laughs> that were relatively unenthusiastic about about doing the wave. And the wave doesn't really work unless you got a big, right. big crowd. It's more of a ripple. More actually. of a ripple. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, a drip. I'm getting to be known as that dad. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, it sounds like you care. Yeah, I care. Uh, I care so much that I, I chewed out the, the, the soccer ref one time, and because uh, I didn't, I don't know how to play soccer anyway. And uh, <laughs> I, I th I, there was a dispute, and I went and, and got mad at the ref. <laughs> And the ref started to cry. This ref was like 13. Oh. And uh, <laughs> I got, I mean, I didn't make, mean to make the, 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 the boy cry, but uh, you know, it's just, it's a whole new, it's a whole new thing, man. And it's, it's the best though, the, the, the children. Yeah. I love it. I really do love it. Yeah, it sounds like it. it if I only like knew, you know, who, whose they were. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, we have to take a break. Um, <laughs> on the wrong show. We don't know about stuff like that here. <laughs> <laughs> Who the baby daddy is. I got big news before we go into the segment. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm coming forward as the father of Anna Nicole's baby. Oh, all right. Good. <laughs> you heard it here first. That's fantastic. Yeah. Now we know. <laughs> Let's talk the, about... The, cra the crazy thing is, though, the baby is Zsa Zsa Gabor's. Oh. So it's got like a really it's weird so twist. Twisted. I know, it's it, all, that's it's nuts. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's talk about Jazz Fest, which I love, and I would love to get down there this year, and, uh, and you've been going forever, right? Yeah, I've, I, I was about eight years old when I played my first Jazz Fest, and it's, uh, it's really you. fun. Who are you with? Oh, Who's that? that? That's, well, that's the, that's the same guy in both of those pictures. That picture, I was about eight or nine. That's James Booker. He's my hero. He was a, probably the of greatest is, yeah. musician, a piano player, one of the greatest to come out of there. And the other picture, I was about 14 uh, playing with him. But wow. uh, yeah, James, uh, he, was, he was something else. But it's an, it's an amazing experience. If you guys get a chance, um, it's, it's just fantastic. It's the last weekend in April, first weekend in May. And it's unbelievable. It's like nothing you've ever seen. I mean, the culture down there and... And the, every kind of band, every kind of music everything. that you can imagine. It's a huge Gospel, festival. Gospel, R&B, Cajun, Zydeco, jazz. It's, it's really, really fun. I mean, I love Mardi Gras, but, but the Jazz Fest is, you know, to experience New Orleans with the Jazz Fest. Exactly. Which is what everybody needs to go. We keep saying you need to go to New Orleans. That will help New Orleans more than anything. Absolutely. The tourism is, is what we depend on down there. And for people to go and spend their money to, to, to rejuvenate the economy down there. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to thank you. I don't know if you guys know this, but Ellen's helped raise over $10 million for uh, New Orleans. Um, so, let's talk about what you're doing. No, thank you. This, this is really, really cool what you're doing. I, I, what an amazing idea. You're doing a music village. Well, it's called a Musician's Village, and we, we named it in honor of the musicians that we want to try to get back to New Orleans. Now, federal law prohibits you from excluding non-musicians, uh, but we want the musicians to come back and other families that are looking for low-income housing. We're working with, with uh, Habitat for Humanity, and we have about five city blocks, and there's going to be about 70 houses and 10 elderly-friendly duplex apartments. And uh, over the course of the next five years, in the surrounding areas, we hope to have as many as 1,500 houses. And uh, there'll be a school called the Ellis Marsalis Center for Music there to help uh, keep the tradition of New Orleans music going. And it's really, it's, it's happening. I mean, people are, have been given keys, and uh, it's very, very exciting. That's really great, because you were saying during rehearsal that some of your musicians, uh, your band members, are still in trailers. Oh, it's despicable, Ellen. I mean, it, it's... You know, you go down to New Orleans. Now, don't think you can't go because, you know, uh, the, the, the situation is so, so bad. A lot, a lot of the restaurants and hotels are really coming back. But like these, these uh, fellas over here, how you doing? A, a fireman. And... I mean, they, they, they can tell you, you go to some of these residential areas, man, and it, you can't, it looks like the hurricane happened two weeks ago. Yeah. It's painfully slow. So go, go down there if you can and, and visit because we want to see you down there and we want to, have your business, for Good. sure.